a highly imperfect healthcare bill um, da, is likely, I believe, to get better over time. That what, once you've established the, the principle of universality, once it is, once we've become like every other uh, advanced country, when, once we become a civilized society that guarantees health care to everybody, right? right. No, this, this is awesome, right? Nobody else does this. Um, right. <laughs> um, then all the pressure is to make the thing more workable, more affordable. So although there's no public option in the plan now, at some point the, the fact that a public option would save money is going to come to weigh in. Uh, uh, at some point, perhaps, uh, the, the fact that single payer systems are just a lot cheaper to operate than this kind of Rube, Rube Goldberg thing, which runs it through the private insurance companies, might come to prevail. But the point is, I, I, I think, unless, uh, well, if, if we can get through the next couple of years, then, then universality will be ir, uh, irreversible, and we'll have a system. And then, then the pressure will be to improve it. On the stimulus, what seemed obvious to me right from the beginning was that if you did it halfway, um, then it would be branded a failure, mm -hmm. and that you had one shot to make it good enough to, to, uh, to carry on. That it, did you have, had to have a stimulus right at the beginning that would deliver a convincing decline in unemployment, so that if, if you did need to come back for more, you could say, look, it worked, but it didn't work enough. And what they did... No, uh, facing real political constraints, uh, but maybe, but never really testing those constraints. Mm -hmm. But what they did was something that was, was not was enough to make things not as bad as they could have been, but not enough to make things convincingly better. Right. And that I was tearing my hair out in in January two thousand nine because I could see. I mean, I can't. I didn't get everything right, but I was saying, you know, I can see that this will lead to a situation where by by the fall, unemployment is still going to be very high. And instead of people saying, oh, the stimulus wasn't big enough, we need more, they're going to say, oh, well, so much for stimulus. And, and we'll get it, there would be no second chance. And that's, that's how it's played out.